Alright. Hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Your One and Only, and welcome to Champions Online. Now, I have not played this game in, like, so long, so... I just saw it on Steam, I was like, you know what? It's been a while, so let's go ahead and play it and try it out. See how it is. See how the weirdest looking faces. And, just like, um... DC Universe, everything is behind paywall as well. So, yeah. Unless you guys are, like really huge fans of the game and willing to like throw in money at the game that's all up to you guys if you guys want to actually play all these like different classes I'm not <laughs> alright this guy is uh, pretty much like what was his name the human torch this guy is an actual soldier submachine gun burst and a sniper rifle do I actually get the control to sniper rifle or is it just like, you know, like let me know. <laughs> uh, we got an archer. Wait, what is I can actually see the sniper rifle. Ah. Huh. Uh, we got our tanks and the glacier is one of them. Alright, so they have different like abilities you can actually look at. So this guy is like the ice guy and there was another ice guy here too. Yeah, the icicle. And this guy is a behemoth, which is pretty much Harambe. <clears throat> but we got our ripoff Deathstroke. I'm just going all in on this. I hope you guys know that. <laughs> then we got another like dual person. It seems like the only duels we have open to us are the people with swords. I wish I had the brawler, to be honest, but rip, rip that. I'm not going for the whole paywall thing. The predator is also there, and then we have the grimoire. Probably he's, he's probably the necromancer, right? I mean, Samoan mage concepts. We got ourselves the radiance. Guess he's a, like a healer, maybe. Yeah, you can heal, heal an ally. So he's basically like the healer. Then we got the mind. Guess he's just like buffing people. But Joe, you know, we're gonna go with the soldier. We're gonna be female. Alright, let's let's zoom into that face. God, that's that's one weird mask you got there. <laughs> you got there. What else you got? Okay, yep. I forgot how like limited this game was to like different things. Hey, we got that Yu-Gi-Oh eye. Yeah, we're just gonna go with that. The third eye. You know what? What else are we gonna go with? Let's go with like the commando, like makeup. She looks so angry for no reason. I don't know why she's so angry. Wow, you can change the like hair to like leather or metal. I don't see the difference between leather or actual hair, to be honest. Alright, what hair has she got? She got some ridiculous hair that I can't really see. Uh... Can I even change the headbands or anything? Headwear. Let's, let's take off the headwear. I wanna do- I wanna see the hair. Boy, I forgot how limited this game was. Oh, we're gonna go with that hair. The messy mohawk. Her eyes, hair, ears are just fine to me. We can't change our hair color. Let's change it to green. Yeah, we're just gonna go with that. What headwear do you have? Pfft. 
I don't see how your mask or anything in this game like cooperate with each other at all. Nope, definitely not cooperating with each other. That crown is like not even wow. Got a lot of crowns in here though. Guess everybody feels like royalty in this game. Well, at least the costumes aren't like locked behind paywall. That much is good. Oh, we got ourselves a pirate hat. A Naruto headband. Wait, is that the Naruto symbol on that? I can't. I can't see it. I'm really hoping it's not. But uh. Wait, I'm gonna go with that hat. Uh, hold on. Let me change my hair, since since clearly hair is not a thing that wants to work with us. Not much you can do with hair, to be honest. Considering your hair still comes out at the top, but yeah. Uh, I get. I guess that's the best we can do for a hair staying inside of place unless we want to go bald yeah let's not go bald <laughs> what tops you got oh this is like on top of my head this is weird But it leaves a lot to creativity, is what I want to say. But it also still is pretty weird. I don't see anything that would like fit this at all. So we're gonna avoid that. Okay, look, look this way again. This just looks all types of weird. I'll just give her those. So we also got mouthpieces as well. Uh, what kind of clothes do we have? We got vests. Let's move out a little bit. Bye bye. Do you have any fur collars? That'd be dope. Are boobs that like gigantic or something? Let's let's just go with it. I'm not even gonna question it. That's weird for a collar to be. Wait, hold on, zoom back in. What the hell, man? Hey, hey, stay, stay like that. Stop, stop moving around. Just trying to make my costume, dress my character up. Uh. No, we're just gonna go with that. I like how our emblem is in our boob region. <laughs> Shoulder. Both. I mean, everything's still like here, like so much to uh, customize. So I can have bazooka on my back, but I don't think I want to. We have like a gun in our back. I don't even think we get to use it anyway, so not much of like sadness that is gone. But it is pretty weird that 
you keep moving like hey stay forward I know I keep moving you by myself but hey you should move where I want you to is that a sniper rifle that's one small sniper rifle for my character I just want that to be known Can I get like a commando knife behind me? Did I ever see one? Like there should be like a commando knife on like the waist or something. Uh, nah. Let's just go with a backpack. Alright, what are for hands? Got some amazing short gloves though. I might just stay with the short gloves. Yeah, let's just stay with them. Like armbands, uh. Wait, were those bullets? Oh, those were vials. Uh, I'm just gonna take one for, like, the right end. And this one could. Well, yeah, let's just take. Going for the left. Uh, belt. Alright, we already have a belt though. Which makes no sense to have another belt. Uh, why is there another belt? <laughs> We're gonna go with that. I like the pants, so I don't want to change the pants. Feet accessory? Fur. What the hell? Nah, nah, I'm good. I'm good. Let's not have that. So we got choices between like tails and everything. You could be a bird, or you could be a demon with a tail. Uh, that, stop. Or you could be like a sea creature, whichever one you want to go for. I don't think I want any of those. They said rare accessories, so I was thinking it would have way more. But apparently it does not. Okay, weapon. Alright. Uh, handgun. I'm a Kree. Nope. Nah. I like these better. It's actually pretty cool that you could piss pick your SMG, though. I like this one. But you also increase like... Oh, there's sliders. Increase how tall you are. Your body mass. You know what? We've done enough customization. It took us like 13 minutes just... Well, probably 10 minutes if anything. Uh, what should my origin story be? Nailed it. Press W to move forward. Okay. Press A to move left. Press S to move backward. Press D to move right. Already being hit with tutorial. All right. Contacts have a distinctive icon above their heads. To talk with a contact, first move near the contact and then do one of the following. Press the F key to meet you. It's your mouse exciting to meet contact, new heroes like the oh. mouse button. Defender from the champions. Please shut up. Took up for our new training program. Let's get started, shall we? I remember this game had a lot of voice acting. So that's the one thing I enjoyed about it is cuz all the characters like talk for the missions. We'd like you to help test a new training simulation for our Ravenswood. Wish more games system. would have done it, but. It's based around the Kula invasion of Millennium City that occurred Good luck with that. Ago. Talk with Plato, the Ravenswood AI that helps run our school. She can provide more details on the simulation. Like, more games need to use, like, a lot more voice acting. Uh, where am I going? Talking to this thing? Plato interface online. 
Please let me know if you require assistance. Designation Superhero. Thank you for volunteering to test the QLAR Invasion Simulation MK1.247B. I will be tracking your progress through the tutorial. When you are ready, please proceed to the simulator. Alright. Noted. Man, it's good to be back in this game, though. It's not the best looking game in the world, especially not versus DC universe, but it's still enjoyable. Like, extremely enjoyable. Attention! Calling all heroes! Oh, back then it was. This is Defender with a priority alert. Let's see if it still is. Millennium City is under attack. I repeat, Millennium City is under attack by a hostile extraterrestrial force. The Q-Lar. The q -Lar. I'm directing police and Primus troops to fallback positions, but they are outnumbered and out. I kind of remember this guy. They won't last long against the advanced alien technology of the q -Lar. We need reinforcements fast. Looks like the game is so, like, highly populated there. Distress signals from the MCPD and EMS units in the south sector of downtown. All available heroes rendezvous with Sergeant McAvoy's team immediately. Help him secure the mayor and any nearby civilians. I repeat, all Noted. available heroes rendezvous with Sergeant McAvoy at the following coordinates. I'm sorry, I'm not available. Downloading coordinates now. Once we have the civilians out of harm's way, we'll regroup at Champions HQ and take the fight back to the QLAR. Good luck, heroes. Defender out. I swear, some games just come up with like the weirdest name for enemies. The Q Lar. <laughs> My shift is this a guard. So this game is more of like uh Thank goodness you're here. Not we're like just action oriented, QLAR like a Millennium City into a war DC zone. Universe. It's we more of like help. targeting. I'm glad you're here. Any assistance you can give will be greatly appreciated. Yeah, so this game is like tap targeting, so you yeah. I'm glad you're All right. I need to remember where I should go. All right. Oh yeah. It doesn't have like auto like moving. Press the tab key to select the nearest enemy target. Press the one key or press the tab multiple times in the power tree to drop the enemy target power. Can we relax on hitting me with a lot of like voice acting though? All right. I'm done. I remember the uh I remember last time I think I also started with the soldier again. Like back then, I, I'm not sure if I actually played this game on Steam though. Pretty sure I probably played it on Excellent like work. a different I'm account. Glad you're here. Thank you again for your assistance. The mayor heard that you were here and would like to speak with you personally. You can find Mayor Bazell under the tent just southwest of here. All right. I'm glad you're here. Any assistance you can give will be greatly appreciated. I already gave my assistance. Alright, where is the mayor? It's over there? Why is the mayor not in his office during all this apocalypse? Well, I sure am glad to see you. I've heard some good things about you. Obama, is that you? City is in sore need of some heroes right now. Well, at least the character's mouth moved. My administration will not stand for aliens attacking Millennium City. Like, this is like a throwback game. Hey. Hey, I'm talking here. He doesn't need to salute you. When the QLAR attack began, I set up a command post in the Samson building. But the initial assault gutted the building and drove everyone outside into the streets. When we fled the building, I left behind my laptop and briefcase. In the laptop is a disc with the city's emergency response plan. Why did you leave that? Plan or in my briefcase. If I can access these items, I can get a message out of the bubble and help coordinate the city's defense. All right, notice my administration will. Yeah, you can also uh, follow this little arrow 
to your objective, but last time I remember that didn't work out well. But yeah, last time I uh, followed this thing, it didn't work out very well. So I recommend you using your map and knowing where to go. Hey, buddy. Oh, so I had to. I actually have to hold it down for it to work. What is this? I have no idea what that is. Move near the flashing interactive object. Press the F key or click the interact button and then wait for the progress bar to fill. What you guys could have came here and got it yourselves. I didn't need to come in here and do it. Oh, hello. Bye bye. You didn't see me. Alright, so what is this? Uh, starter pack? What? What is the starter pack? I'm so confused. Why did I, why did I click that? Hmm. What is this? That's the city plants we just got. Oh, okay, that's what it is. Okay, this is like boost and stuff. Hey. Out of my face. I don't know what that is that you just dropped, but it's mine now. You bastard. Eat gunshots to the face. Hey, get out of that. I need it. Oh yeah, that was another dangerous thing about Soldier. Is that it can hit random enemies that you don't want to fight. And get into more fights. Where you honestly don't need to. Or at least his second skill was like that. Somebody's still hitting. You bastard. You're gonna fight me off screen, you jerk. Probably wasn't you, but you know, something was hitting me. Let me grab this. More boosts. Help. Kinda sad that I don't have like a... S speed or anything. To move around quicker, but you know, that's, that's the... Downfall of picking Soldier. Even though I love the class better than the other free ones. And I don't plan on buying DLCs. But I'll help this person out. But your mana comes back at like... Well, power, energy, whichever you want to call it. Comes back pretty fast. So you don't really have to worry about conserving it all that much. My administration will not stand for aliens attacking Millennium City. I got an achievement. Yep, I definitely haven't played this in a long time. These photos show the Kular massing for an assault on his position. The Kular are jamming our communications, so I need someone to deliver them. I think you have the best chance of getting to him in time. All right. on you? No. My administration will not. All right, shut up, President. We're gonna go now. The mission heading indicator is a directional arrow that will guide you to your primary mission. You can set any mission as a primary mission by clicking the number in the mission tracker or from the mission journal J key by selecting a mission and pressing the Make Primary button. Okay, noted. It's gonna be a long journey. Alright, that isn't very far. I knew you were gonna shoot me, you jerk. What? What? You wanna throw hands? Oh god, you explode. Is that a speed boost? That looks like a speed boost. It is somewhat of a speed boost. Blocking or maybe it's just mana. Taken. An incoming charge of attack is signaled by special animations and an icon above. 
guard your opponent's head. Block these attacks by holding down the shift key. This is spawn point. The blue circle ahead of you marks a respawn point. If you are defeated in battle, pressing the recover button Talk about will transport close. your hero to the I'll nearest respawn point. I'll redeploy my men point. immediately. We have a good chance of fighting off the impending attack. Thanks to that intel you delivered. Right? All because of me. Our ability to fight the QDAR is being hampered by civilians trapped near this area. As long as citizens are mixed in with the bugs, the Mars troopers don't dare use any of their most powerful weapons for fear of injuring civilians. Keep an eye. Alright, noted. You, what is your quest? I'm really worried I might miss my flight to Canada. Do you think the invasion may have delayed my plane? See, if the game didn't have voice acting, I wouldn't listen to any of this or wouldn't even bother with the story. I have some EMT training, and I've done all I can for the injured we have here. But I'm afraid some of them aren't going to make it without additional treatment. I heard Chief Surhoff mention that some ambulances were ambushed and ransacked by Kular not far from here. If you reach the ambulances, could you recover the medical supplies from the aliens and bring them to me? Uh, sure. But like I was saying, uh... But since the game does have voice, I think I actually bother to listen to it. Here, let me just take this. You know, because I'm a soldier, and I don't like these guys. hey -ya! No, a soldier should not be able to pick up like heavy things, but we we should tell that to um, multiple like superheroes. But like I've said, playing when I was playing DC, I am not a superhero guy. I am more of a villain lover. I like more villains than anything. Ow! Did you just pimp slap me, you jerk? Die! What a jerk, man. All I wanted to do was get through my quest and everything. You didn't have to pimp slap me. Press F when you're at silver exclamation point to pick up an item or object on the ground. What happens if I step in the fire? Oh, I actually burn. Okay. Okay. I, I gained a new superpower. I am now on fire. Find additional missions by exploring. I'll murder you if you want me to be your psychic, you know. Many other QLR closer to the champions building have been driven into a berserker rage. These enraged drones are hurling themselves at my Jay Sanchez and her team in endless waves. Sanchez won't be able to hold out long against this sort of assault. Defeat nine enraged drones to take some of the pressure off Maite and her team. Look for the drones with the red glow. Okay. I shall, magic talking drone. Maybe I should kill you. I'll save that guy. Okay, well, apparently I didn't do much to you. How many more of these things do I need? Am I done? I think I'm done. Why am I still doing this? Shotgun blast. So level six, I get another skill. But that's gonna be a while. Apparently. Roughest things are here. It gets worse the closer you get to the champions building. One of my top operatives, Silver Avenger, Mason Silver Sanchez, Avenger, is pinned down with some Mars troops a block west of here. She reports being attacked by Qlar from both sides. Sanchez was on a mission for Doctor Silverback. Could you check in with her and assist her in any way you can? It's like a cliche name, Sanchez. Really common, to be honest. Hey, what happened to the golf woman that was just there? I'm really worried I might miss my flight to Canada. 
I don't care about your flight to Canada. I mean, the world, the world is ending, man. And you're worried about your flight to Canada? What the hell? But guys, I'm pretty sure this is all the time I have. So, I'll see you guys uh, next time. If you guys did enjoy the video, do hit that like button. And that will let me know if you guys actually enjoy it. And I will probably play some more of the game. Maybe. But, until then, I will see... Oh god. I will see you guys next time. Peace out.